Greetings, Seahawk fans, and welcome to another edition of Hawk Talk. I'm Brian Mall, UNCW beat writer for the Star News, and this is your inside look at the Seahawks. After a tumultuous time on and off the court, the team returned to Trask Coliseum on Saturday for interim coach Brooks Lee's debut on the sidelines. Lee praised his team's effort and enthusiasm, but was disappointed by their poor shooting. The Seahawks managed only 21% shooting in the second half, including a woeful 1 of 19 from the three-point line. That allowed Towson to pull away late for a 58-53 victory. The game was a microcosm of the Seahawks' offensive woes this season. UNCW is shooting 42% from the field, 32% from three-point range, and averaging 16.7 turnovers per game on the season. One of the CAA's hottest teams arrived in Trask on Wednesday night, and the Seahawks couldn't score enough points to slow them down. VCU shot 52% in the second half to hand UNCW its eighth loss in nine games. The Seahawks were again frigid from the perimeter, hitting only three of 17 behind the arc. At this point, these are clearly two programs headed in opposite directions. Around the CAA, Georgia State upset George Mason down in Atlanta on Wednesday night, creating a three-way tie for first place in the standings. Old Dominion and Northeastern joined the Patriots at 10-2, while VCU and Drexel are two games back, tied for fourth place, and battling for that all-important bye at the conference tournament in Richmond in March. UNCW was scheduled to face Delaware on Saturday, but that game was postponed 24 hours due to a massive snowstorm forecast to blanket the East Coast. The game will be played Sunday at noon, and the Seahawks will return to the Northeast on Wednesday to face Towson before coming back home Saturday to play host to Hofstra. Well, that wraps up another edition of Hawk Talk. Stay tuned to StarNewsOnline.com and visit my Hawks Hoops blog for all the latest information and analysis. 